As we approach the April 3rd presidential primary, a political group able to raise and spend unlimited cash is on the air in Wisconsin, slamming one Republican candidate. Political reporter Jessica Arp breaks down the claims in tonight's reality check. A powerful political action committee is out to get former senator and Republican presidential candidate Rick Santorum. Restore our future is responsible for the content of this message. You'll hear this at the end of the ad, but it's important to start here. Restore Our Future is a super PAC, a new breed of political committee that can raise and spend unlimited amounts of money, and oftentimes is closely tied to another political candidate. In this case, Restore Our Future was started and is run by former aides to Mitt Romney, which explains the attacks and who they're attacking. How did Rick Santorum actually vote? Santorum voted to raise the debt limit five times, and for billions in wasteful projects, including the bridge to nowhere. This is true. Santorum did vote five times over his term in Congress to raise the debt limit. He also voted for a large transportation bill that included the bridge to nowhere, an infamous earmark project in Alaska. In a single session, Santorum co-sponsored 51 bills to increase spending and zero to cut spending. The ad is looking at a small snapshot of Santorum's term, which can be misleading. Here they point out 2003, citing numbers from the National Taxpayers Union. But when you look at his entire term over eight sessions of Congress, you'll see some years he proposed millions in spending cuts. Plus, the Taxpayers Union points out Santorum's total in 2003 was lower than the average Republican spending agenda in Congress that year of $33 billion. Santorum even voted to raise his own pay and joined Hillary Clinton to let convicted felons vote. On the felons issue, the video here is misleading. Santorum did vote for an amendment that would have allowed felons to vote once they had completely served their sentences, not allowing felons to vote from prison, as it would seem in the pictures here. The pay issue is true. Santorum voted three times against provisions sponsored by Senator Russ Feingold in 2001, 2, and 3 that would have stopped a congressional pay raise. I'm Jessica Arp with this News 3 Reality Check.